Since I released my video on taking your GitHub profile readme to the next level, I've gotten so many questions. So this video is a follow-up to answer some of those questions and to show you a few new things that you could add to your profile, like your recent GitHub activity, badges, and even what you're listening to on Spotify. Links to everything that we discuss in this video will be in the description below. By far, the most questions that I received were about the icons that I use in my profile. I used two different sources. The Connect With Me icons came from Simple Icons. Here's their repo. If we scroll down, you can see that we can use this CDN, and you simply have to edit the URL with the icon name. And we can get those from their site. So if we go here, this is simpleicons.org. They have almost 1,400 free SVG icons, and you can easily search these. So you can search through here and find the icon that you're looking for, and they also give you the hex color code for that brand. So for instance, if we wanted to look up YouTube, there it is. Here's all the different icons for YouTube. So going back to this CDN example, all we have to do is change this with YouTube, and it would display our YouTube icon. Now for the languages and tools, these actually came from GitHub. So if we go up here and we just search for anything, let's search for JavaScript. And you're going to get this icon here, which you can then right click and copy image address. So if we put that in the address bar, you'll see that we get the image. You can also edit the URL. So it says JavaScript and then JavaScript.png. We could change that to HTML and HTML and we get the HTML badge. In the first video, I showed you how to set up the GitHub README stats from Anurag. I got a couple of comments saying that they were not working, and so I contacted him, and he was having issues because after my video, there were so many people hitting his Vercel instance that it got rate limited. So to avoid this issue, it would be best if you could deploy your own Vercel instance, and it's super easy. I'm going to walk you through how to do that right now. The first thing that you're going to want to do is go to his repo, again the link will be in the description below, and fork it. So I've already forked it. Now the next thing that we want to do is go to our settings and we're going to create a personal access token. So go to settings and then down to developer settings and then personal access tokens. And you can see I've already created one, but I'll create a new one, generate new token. And then here just type in what it's for. So we'll say GitHub readme stats. And I'm just going to put test on here because I'm going to delete this in a minute and then leave everything else as is. Go down and generate token, and now you have this token here. So make sure to copy this and save it because you will not see it again. All right, so now go to vercel.com and log in using your GitHub account. And then we're going to import a project. And we're gonna use GitHub. And then we need to paste in the URL to our project. So be sure that this is your repository that you forked and then paste it in here. All right, and then leave it as the root and then continue. And we'll leave everything else. The only thing that we want to add is the environmental variable. So in here, we're going to add our personal access token. We're gonna to name it PAT underscore one. And then we wanna pass in that value. So be sure that you had saved it and then paste in the value here and add, and then deploy. And this is just going to take a few seconds to run through. All right, now it's done. We can go to the dashboard if we want, and we need to get our domain. So you can create your own domain, or you can just use what's given to you. So there's several different domains that you can use. I'm gonna use this one, github-readme-stats.codestacker.vercel.app. All right, so you need to copy that, and then let's go back to our profile readme. And I'm going to edit this. And we'll go down to that portion of the readme where it has the stats. And the only thing that we'll need to do is then change this. So I've already changed it on mine. Yours is going to have the one from Anurag. So paste in your Vercel instance here. Again, making sure that your username is correct. And then that should be it. So if we go back to my profile, and we check it out, GitHub stats, there it is, it's working. And now you won't have to worry about it going down because you created your own Vercel instance. And that only took a couple of minutes. Now I wanna show you a few extra things that you might wanna to add to your profile. 
When it comes to badges, shields.io is the way to go. Here's their repo. You can see all of these different badges. They have badges for anything. You can even create custom badges. So if we go to their website, shields.io, uh, you can actually search here, or you can go through all the different categories. You can see all the different customizations, and you can even create a dynamic badge with your own data URL. Now, I'm not gonna go through all of the detail on how these work, and their documentation is pretty good. It's just basically editing this URL with all of the different options. One thing that I did, if you go up here at the top and you can search for Twitter, and you can see these different badges for Twitter. And if you click on this, then you can customize it. So if I put in my username, and then you can see this is the default, but we can actually change the style. We can change it from social to plastic. We could change it to flat. Let me zoom in a little bit. Uh, we can go to flat square. We can go to for the badge. I like that one. We can put a custom label there. So that changes the label completely. We can change the color. We can add a logo. So for the logos, they actually use simple icons as well. So if we search for Twitter, we'll get the Twitter icon. Obviously it's named Twitter, but we can also get this color here. So let's copy the color and we'll go back and we can override this color here with the Twitter color. There we go. And then put the logo in here, Twitter. We get the logo and we can even change the logo color, but I'm gonna leave it. And then we can copy the badge URL. So if we click here, we can get markdown, restructured text, ASCII doc, or HTML. So if you just copy the markdown and then you can paste that into your profile readme. Now there are several other repos that have examples that you can use and build upon. This one's from Alex. I'm just gonna call him Alex. And so it's called badges for readme profile. And he's got these categorized. So contact, social, blog, and so on. And these all use shields.io. Then there's this other repo here from Yerayayo called Markdown Badges. And then some more examples of badges that you could put onto your profile. These are programming languages. If we scroll down, there's some frameworks, and then some version control, and some more stuff. So you could start with these and then customize them. Another question that I got was how to add GitHub activity to your profile. So we can see this example here of recent activity, and these are the last five uh, activities from James George, and he is actually the one that created this repo, GitHub Activity Readme. And this is actually very easy to implement. So all that we have to do is add this comment into our readme, and then create this update readme YAML and put that into our repo. So this one is scheduled for every 30 minutes and it uses his repo and then it uses your GitHub token to bring in your latest activity. So if we go up to my profile and we can look at how I have this set up. So if we go down here, I have my GitHub activity and here's the last five things that I did. Now if we go up to my GitHub workflows, you'll see that I have this update readme YAML and I changed mine to run uh, every hour, once an hour. And then again, it uses his repo and it uses my GitHub token. Now, there's nothing special that you have to do to create this token. This is built into GitHub Actions. Now, there is another way to get some stats on your page. And this one is Profile Readme Development Stats. This one was created by Ann Moll. So this one does look pretty cool. It does require a walk -a time API. But other than that, it's pretty simple to set up just like the other actions that we've looked at. All right, now for something really cool. You can add your currently playing Spotify song to your GitHub profile readme. There's a couple of repos that I looked at for this. One is from Nate Moore, and you can see now playing, he's not listening to anything right now. So I have an example here. I forked his repo and I have my now playing here. And so it shows the album cover, the name of the song, the band, and the progress bar. It's pretty simple and it looks pretty good. And then there's this other one from Andrew Novak. And I like the look of this one. It has the album cover as well, the information, and then the cool little EQ effects. So if we go to my profile, you can see that I have that as well. So let me walk you through how to set this up. 
The first thing that you're going to do is go to his repo and fork the repo. So I have that already here. And then in here, there is this uh, setup MD. It has pretty clear instructions here. Now, this is a little bit involved, but it's only gonna take us a few minutes to go through it. So first, we're gonna go to Spotify and create an application. All right, and so I've already got one created, but I'm gonna create a new one, and then I'll delete this in a little bit. So we'll name this, and just name it GitHub Test. And then we need a description. And then we need to understand everything and say create. Now we have this test. Now here are the things that you're going to want to keep track of. Now be sure that you open up Notepad or, or something to copy and paste several things that you're going to keep track of. All right, so go ahead and get this client ID and then show the client secret. All right, so copy that as well. And again, these are not going to work if you try to use these. I'm going to be deleting this after the video. All right, so let's go back to our instructions. The next thing that we'll, we'll do is edit our settings and we're going to put this redirect URL. So I'll go ahead and copy this localhost slash callback. So we'll go back in here, go to the, our settings and then redirect URI, paste that in there and add and then go to the bottom and save. All right, now let's go back and we need to get our refresh token. So now we need to grab this URL and this spot right here, Spotify client ID. We're gonna replace that with our client ID. Everything else is good. So let's go up here, paste that in, and let me grab my client ID. I'm going to select that portion of it and paste in my client ID, and then hit enter. It's gonna ask us to authorize it, we'll say agree. And then it's gonna look like it messed up, but it didn't. Up here in the URL, We've got this callback code equals. So after the code equals, that is what we want. So I'm going to copy that out and I'm going to paste that over here in Notepad. So I've got that code saved. We can close this window. Now the next step is to create a base64 string of the combination of our client ID and Spotify client secret. All right, so let's go to this base64. And what we're gonna do is get our client ID, paste that there, and then a colon, and then our client secret after that. So client ID, colon, client secret, and then encode, and then copy this. This is the base64 encoded string, so save that as well. All right, we can close that. So now we have this curl command that we need to run. So there's a couple of spots in here. We have to put our base64 in here and then our code over here. So let's take this whole string and I'm going to move my notepad over here. And make it a little bit bigger, easier to see. All right, I'm going to paste that down here. Again, I don't care if you guys see all of this stuff because I'm going to be deleting everything. So none of it's going to work. So the base64 was this string here. So let's copy that. And we're going to replace this part with our base64 string. And then we need our code, which was this. So we'll copy that. And then code here. We're going to replace that. Now we take this whole thing here. And I'm going to open up git bash. All right. And I'm going to paste that in. And then let's run it. All right. Now we're going to receive back an access token. We're going to receive back a refresh token. So we want the refresh token. So let's copy that. And that is this part here, all right? And then let's just keep track of it. I'm gonna paste it in here. And then let's go back to our code. Now we need to create our Vercel instance. So again, make sure that you have forked the original repository so that you have your own repository. And then we're going to create another Vercel instance, which we just did a minute ago. So let's go to Vercel. We're going to import a project again, just like we did before. I already have this one created. It's exactly the same as, as the other one was. If we go to the settings, the only difference is going to be the environmental variables. So here, you're going to create environmental variables for the Spotify secret ID, for your Spotify client ID, and then for your Spotify refresh token, which was the last thing that we got from Git Bash.
the refresh token, right? So enter those here and add them, and then that's it. We'll go back to the instructions here. All that you need to do now is add this to your readme. So in here, you're gonna replace this part here with your Vercel server URL. So if we go back to Vercel, here are all of the different domains for our Vercel instance. So you could take any of these, and this is what you would paste into this portion of the URL. And then at the end here, this is just the link this to uh, Spotify. And so you'll just need to get your Spotify user ID if you want this to be an actual link. So if you want them to click on what's playing and be able to go to your profile on Spotify, that's what this portion of the URL does. The important part is this here. So if we go up to my profile, and we edit it, we'll see that's exactly what I have here. And I have my Vercel instance here. Now, if you just want to get a profile readme quick and easy, Raul has a repo for you. So he has created this GitHub profile readme generator. So this is really cool. So you can just come to this repo, and you can look at this demo here, where you can just fill this out Check off all of the skills, front-end development, back-end development, mobile, database, all kinds of stuff. Check off all of the different skills, enter all of your social information, and then there's these add-ons, so visitor badge count, GitHub profile stats, top skills, latest Dev2 blog posts, medium blog posts, and then generate readme. It generates the readme for you. All you have to do is create your repo, paste the code into the readme, and you're done. You can't get any easier than that. All right, last but not least, Abhishek has an amazing repo. So let's look at his awesome GitHub profile readme. It's a curated list of awesome GitHub profile readmes. So this is categorized. So we've got, if you're looking for GitHub actions, game mode, code, typing, anime, GIFs, badges, great examples of all the different things that you can add to your profile. So if we look through here, we've got actions, we've got all these profiles that you can look at, game mode, and let's just keep going through all of these great examples. And then we've got the tools. These are the things that you can actually add to your profile. So we've got visitor badge, 90 style visitor counter. There's so much stuff in here. GitHub activity, simple icons, GitHub readme stats. Here's another Spotify now playing card generator. And then here's a list of articles that can help you. And then some video tutorials. So a couple of friends of mine have tutorials on GitHub profile readmes as well. James Q. Quick and Eric at Programming with Eric. So check out this awesome list. Well, that's going to be it for this video. Like this video to help me out and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.